this is a very quick video on how to make a master's gift augment. I meant to actually show this as part of my preparing for epic uh, reincarnation video, but I just completely forgot about it. So uh, there's three ingredients to make this. The first is a voice of the master. I collected two of those on my normal hard elite runs on heroic in the delirious chain. And then Mantle of the World Shaper. Again, I collected two of those on my normal hard elite runs of the Thranal Chain. Uh, and I think I took Ratcatcher the third time. And then the, the third time I took Epic Voice of the Master on the Delirious Chain. So uh, I have one extra of each of these. And then I earned five greater tokens of the 12. Uh, I earned these in three, di there's three different raids. I earned them in... Uh, Epic Chronoscope, Epic Against the Demon Queen, and Epic Vault of Night. Uh, Epic Vault of Night requires at least three people to run the raid, and, and there's quite a bit of sort of knowledge to, to run that raid. Uh, against the Demon Queen and um, Chronoscope can both be soloed. Probably the easiest one to, uh, to solo is Epic Against the Demon Queen for this build. Um, and, you know, basically the only challenge there is when she gets down to, I think it's around 10% or 5%, she gets this sort of massive damage boost and even at our level could kill us. So when you get that message that she has that damage boost, you just simply put on your meld into darkness and finish her off. If for some reason she's not down uh, before that wears off, then just click your Undying Vanguard to get 10,000 hit points and you'll get that. You could solo that raid very, very easily at this level. Uh, again, that's uh, epic against a de demon queen. There is a pre-raid that has to get run, and I would go ahead and run that on elite. You could solo this that quest on elite, uh, and because there's some good seals that can and shards that could drop from that quest. But uh, you don't need to run on elite if you're just looking to run the raid and you want an easy completion. You can run the pre-raid on any difficulty, even uh, casual or even heroic, to prep for the raid and then run the raid on epic elite. All right, so you put your uh, five greater tokens of the 12, your heroic voice of the master, and your mantle of the world shaper, and, to, and into the altar of epic rituals and click forge. And it creates this, the master's gift augment, which has a minimum level of one and is bound to character. Uh, interestingly enough, when you equip this to an item, the item is not bound to character. It keeps whatever binding it had. So if you put it in a bound to account item, currently that item stays bound to account. You could put it in your bank, pass it to another character. Of course, they could always change that at any time. So it's something I'm always careful about that if I, uh, if I have an item with master's gift, I'll put it in the shared bank, but I won't put it in another character bank because I'm worried about getting stuck there if they ever change that or if it just inadvertently changes when there's an update. But uh, generally, you can just put this in any item. I'm going to st stick it in a level 30 item uh, because I, I don't want to use. I want to use the best augment or the best uh, trinket I can at that level. Uh, but I still want to get my 5% boost for uh, Reaper XP next life. So I'm going to put this into a level 30 item, and I'll figure out which item later. Uh, and you know, also to note that these jeweler's kits drop in chests. They also drop in silver rolls. Uh, I used two of them along the way, so I picked up five, and I, I think most of them might have been from silver rolls, but like maybe three from silver rolls and two for chests, or even four from silver rolls and one from chests. I don't recall exactly, but along the way I picked up five and used two, so I have three left. These are unbound, so it is possible to get these you know, through the auction house, but uh, I've, I've looked for them and never saw them on the auction house this life, so I think they're pretty rare on there, but... You know, it is something you potentially get from a guildie or a friend if you need one, but but basically uh, use these very sparingly. And so the reason I point that out is this Master's Gift Augment is, you know, is difficult to get. So you want to make sure that you save at least one jewels kit to move it from one item to another, um, especially at level 30. A lot of your heroic gear, you don't really need to change. Even if something better comes out, it's pretty marginal difference but your level 30 gear your end game gear and i think when the level cap changes to 31 uh, that as well your your top tier gear does change every time there's a new update they tend to make the gear better so you want to keep swapping around gear so you're 
If you put this in your uh, level 30 gear for Reaper runs, you're probably going to switch it often, so you want to change one or maybe even more jeweler kits, jeweler's tool kits, to move this around from item to item. And that's it. Um, I meant this to be part of the other video, but I wanted to make sure I did show you how to do this as before you TR.